I cannot believe we are one week away from Haunted Hops Barbecue and Craft Beer Festival. This is insane. Yeah, it's exciting. Penhurst Asylum, uh, we are here with Dave from Urban Village Brewery. Thank you for being on hand today, and uh, we look forward to this Saturday. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having me. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to try some beers that you're going to have uh, this Saturday as well. Uh, what do you want to try out first here? What should let's, we get into? Let's go with Stingy Jack. That's St going to be one of yeah? the ones we offer. That's our pumpkin ale. Do you want to do the honors? I will. You're the owner of Landmark Americana. Correct. Um, with several locations all around the area. Yep. What made you guys decide to go in this lane as well? Um, I, I've been a craft beer enthusiast for a, num for a long time. And about seven years ago, my uh, wife bought me a homebrew kit. And I've always worked with food, so having the opportunity to make my own beer was pretty exciting. <laughs> I felt like I enjoyed it, and I felt like, well, this is the concept I want to own. I want to make beer professionally. I want to be able to offer that to uh, customers in addition to great food. Gotcha. So you went to school for it, is that right? Yeah, so the timing worked out perfectly. University yeah. of the Sciences started a um, Brewing Sciences Certificate Program in 2016, I'm going to say. Okay. And we opened in, in uh, June of 2017. So there's this great, op I'd already planned on opening, but there's this great opportunity that I could take this course. It's a one year, it's a little over a year in front of opening the uh, brewery and it was it was it was a great help and i'm yeah. so fortunate to have been able to do that how was that balance like between you know being a restaurant owner and also going to school for that was it a tough balance that year or you know it, it was fun yeah it was two nights a week it was yeah. uh i mean everyone in the class is you know it's not kids right um, right, right and it was just a neat change of pace like i hadn't been in the classroom in close to 20 years yeah so. I thought it was fun. Making beer, having fun. Yeah. So let's try this one out. This sure. is called what? This is called Stingy Jack. Stingy Jack. Cheers. All right. Oh, that's fun. That's tasty. Tell me about Stingy Jack. How so, does it come about? So, again, going back to home brewing, we'd installed a, a small brewery in my house. Yeah. And we always, you know, there's a lot of beers we make once a year, so this would be our pumpkin beer. Loaded up with pumpkin puree, lots of pumpkin spice, uh, cinnamon, allspice. Also nutmeg, ginger, and a little clove. Um, and by the time we opened, sorry, the um, pumpkin beers were all, I was nervous. I'm like, all right, everyone's beat this to death a little bit. Do we even <laughs> offer this thing? Right. So I just made a single batch of it for 2017, and it was gone before we knew I it. Bet. <laughs> so in 2018, uh, we said, all right, let's make some more, and we did a double batch. Um, and the same deal, it was gone so fast. So for this year, we made four batches. We canned a bunch of it, and it continues to yeah continues to continues to move quick. <laughs> yeah, the the pumpkin beer is definitely uh, it's amazing. I, you think the fad would be over by now, but people are loving it more than ever. I feel like I, I still think it's fun, and I yeah. you know it's it's something to look forward to in the fall. I think it's a great fall beer. Um, I I just think you know maybe ten years ago there was a handful of beers that were really good, and there's only a few of them, and you you know you were lucky to get one. Yeah. And then all of a sudden there was all sorts of great options and everybody right. had a pumpkin beer. And they were it's overload. Out, and they were coming out in June. And um, <laughs> yeah, it just got to yeah. be too much. Like everyone wants to beat something to death. Right. So for us, you know, we released this, um, you know, roughly early September and do a small amount yeah. once a year. I think that's, I think that's and then that's it. Right, yeah. exactly. And yeah. uh, besides your, your time frame, what, what do you think separates your pumpkin beer from the rest of them? Um, I would say ours really leans into the, the spice flavoring mm. and uses a significant amount of actual pumpkin puree. Um, tell me about your opening uh, Northern Liberties. I heard that was a crazy opening. Yeah, so we have been same day as uh, Philly Beer Week got started yeah. on uh, June 1st. Good timing. Yep. Yeah, it kept us busy that day. Yeah, for sure. Um, we got off to a great start. It was really busy. And then I assume what you're referring to is a few mm. weeks in, you know, there we are. It's like one in the afternoon. There's only a couple people in the space, like on a Tuesday. And a U-Haul truck just drives right into the building. Um, oh my gosh! Almost takes out a couple, like two of the four customers, and um, it, it was it was a mess. But uh, it turned into a fun. We actually named a beer after it called Wrong Way IPA. <laughs> um, we ended up having fun with it. Nobody ultimately got hurt, um, and we were open five hours later. Wow, really, really tasty. So these two beers will be on hand, right? Correct. At Haunted Hops this Saturday, uh, we cannot wait for this, at Penhurst Asylum. You got your super villain, super villain, <laughs> I, can, I can talk, super villain, your IPA, and then Stingy Jack, uh, your pumpkin beer, both will be on hand from Urban Village. Thank you so much for uh, yeah. hanging out with us. Thanks for having me. And then this Saturday, hauntedhopsfest.com, grab your tickets, we'll see you there at Haunted Hops. Cheers. Cheers.